It is currently 4.09. I'm trying to grab all my stuff, get ready. I think I may run to the gas station real quick because the car is not gassed up. And then I gotta get on the road. Oh, and I gotta meet my band. Like, actually meet them for the first time. We got about an eight hour, eight hour drive today up to Kansas. We gotta turn around and drive back because I gotta play at the zoo in the morning. All right, so I'm waiting on this band. It is currently 5:20. Oh, look, there's one guy here. How you doing, man? Chris, nice to meet you. And what is you? Chris. Chris. Yeah, what's up? Quick <laughs> for the people of YouTube. So I've told them I've hired a random band. <laughs> okay. and so who's the this random. guy? I'm Seth, bass we got player. Seth, Mark, drums, Chris, guitar. So I've just hired a random band off of Facebook. <laughs> and we're driving eight hours to a gig in Kansas to go play. Pick up some little food. Hey, got us some food. Got a little snack. Yeah. <laughs> First stop of the day. Got a little coffee. It is on now, right? Shot of the river for the boats. Trying to keep the story cohesive for everybody. Yeah, man. Alright, had to stop and get gas. We're about four hours out from the gig. Making decent time, except for I missed an exit. Let's see, where is it? Y'all, we got Chris here. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? He's the one who uh, brought us all the way out here to Kansas. West Mineral, Kansas. West Mineral, Kansas. and. You've got, uh, you've got a lot of vendors here and stuff. Yeah, 25 vendors. 25 all vendors. camping and off-road related. And how many people do you think you got camping out here? Uh, we've got 200 campers out in the field, so there's probably about 500 people out there and just ten, camping. 10 bands, right? 11 bands. 11 bands. Yeah, yeah. So doing it out here. How's it going, dude? Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. So Adam is responsible for bringing the majority of these bands together for us. So this has quickly turned into a terrible experience. I told my band that they did not bring, need to bring their drum kit. You're just not sure what the back line looks like at the moment? Or? Um, I mean, I think that they're going to have pretty much everything. I mean, I would think we would need to bring our amps. I do need to double check on the drums, I guess. Because there would be a back line because we only had 10 minutes in between the show, but unfortunately, there is not a back line. The band after us forgot their drum kit, so they're using a band that's playing late and won't be here till 6.30. So I really don't know what I'm gonna do here, but right now I'm trying to find Rick. Hashtag find Rick. Hopefully I can find Rick fishing somewhere, and this might be Rick. <sighs> I don't know what to do. Literally, there's no music store close. No music store closed. It looks like the drummer is out on the water. Damn it. We found Rick. Dude, he has saved the freaking day. He was pushing seven inches, maybe. So thankful right now. Got caught a ride in the truck. You need one? I got one. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I got one. I got one, yeah. That way you gotta take it out. I got one. Yeah, I got some symbols. It's just toms and a kick. Yeah. Toms and uh, hardware for the symbols. Yeah. 
All right, we're going on the stage right now. I think my drummer made friends. Can I get hey, that acrylic? Hey, man. That acrylic does look pretty when It does, though, don't it? So, we just got done. It went well. Rick is the man. Rick saved the day with the drum set. Holy crap, I did not know what we were going to do. I was freaking out. Probably the most I freaked out in a gig, and I've had a lot of things thrown at me. Probably gonna go find the band now, figure out where they're at, where they're walking around, and uh, then we gotta head back. I've got a gig tomorrow, so uh, just gonna give you all a quick tour around real quick. Uh, we got Josh here. He is another one of those folks that was in the original private party. Yeah, it was a good time. He was here. He was there the next day, and y'all were doing what? Just IVs, I think. Yeah, when man. I we, we woke up that morning and we heard a knock at the door. We we're making Bloody Marys, getting ready to like uh, get our day started. And we heard a knock at the door. We're like, who the heck's here? And so I go and answer the front door. And there's Braden with his guitar case and somebody else. They're like, hey man, we're here. And all of a sudden, my buddy's like, oh man, I forgot we hired the band last night. Because Braden was playing at a uh, Honky Tonk somewhere down on uh, Broadway, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think we were playing at Honky Tonk Central. They were there yeah. having a good time. And then, yeah, they ended, ended up inviting me out the next day. So that's how that we ended so up meeting. Fun. That was a good time. Y'all got All day. All day you played for us. It was a good time for sure, dude. First gas stop of the trip back. I said show went well. Got to talk to Chris and Josh and his wife and see everybody that that was at the house in East Nashville that I originally got hired at where I met everybody. So really cool seeing everybody and really cool seeing this whole conference and expo going so well um, for Chris. It's a really cool event. Get a chance to check it out. Go check out the more expo or any of the events that he's throwing on because it's a good time. <laughs>